Hello, I'm Daniela. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to embroider the chain stitch. I'll first show you how to embroider the stitch, and then I'll show you how I'm going to enhance my quilt block using this stitch. This video is part of an ongoing workshop for a crazy quilt block using slow stitching techniques. If you're curious about how I use these techniques, stay tuned for the video. With each video, I build up my quilt block, making it a little more elaborate each day. So I hope you'll join me for that. Let's get started with the chain stitch. So here's the chain stitch in green. It's a very beautiful and versatile stitch that you can use straight lines or curved lines. It comes back on itself. It makes a series of linked loops. It's quite interesting. I love the roundness to it as well. So to create it, you just need your line, and it can be curved or straight. I'm going to use um, straight line today. And again, I'm going to turn my piece to the side just because that's the way I'm traveling here. So you're going to start by choosing the beginning of where you want to start. I'm just going to bring my needle in right on that line. And then I'm going to gently make a loop with loose thread. And I'm going to come in very close to where I started that stitch and then bring my needle up the length I want to make the stitch. I'm going to catch the thread underneath the thread I just pulled through, and there I have my first chain. I'm going to come around and do the same thing again, coming up, catching the thread underneath, and continuing this as long as I want this chain to be made. I just pull my loops aside, again, creating that chain I'll do one more to show you. You may have to loosen your thread as you go around because there's a lot of circular motions here. And I'm sure to catch it. And then I stitch right down to end it and it catches the base of that thread. Now for using the chain stitch for our block, I have this iris 755. It's a beautiful deep purple. Not quite the same purple as the velvet, but it picks up that color and it echoes that purple throughout. For this stitch, I want to stitch from here all the way down, so two sides. I'm going to stitch right across this area, right on the muslin. I want my loops to hide that satin edge. So I'm going to come up here so I'm going to come up here with my thread, make my loop with that loose thread, just holding that around with my thumb, coming down very close to where I went in, and then making my stitch length, catching the thread underneath. There I have my first loop. I'll do the same thing again, coming down, and around, making that next loop. And I'll continue this all the way around this piece, stitching it around, coming up from the top, and catching it. And it produces this beautiful little bubble effect. So I completed the chain stitch. Now because it was right on the edge of this satin fabric that tends to unravel, the fabric was coming up over the stitches. So I just took one strand of this purple embroidery floss and just grabbed it to hold it down. And that way it'll keep the edge nice and sharp. So that's the chain stitch, also known as a tambour stitch. So that's how I use the chain stitch on two sides of my quilt block. The quilt block is really starting to come together. It's really exciting to add the different pieces to it. I've spent a lot of time so far building it up, but it's really enjoyable. And I hope you think so too. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe.